All right, y'all. <laughs> go ahead, try go ahead. All right, y'all. We got the machine shop with the heads. Uh, this is our machinist, Nick. How you doing? Nick, go ahead and explain all your your, your, uh, your business name, your, uh, your shop name, shop number, anything you want to explain. So we're here located in East County, San Diego, uh, El Cajon, California, be specific. Address is 1467 North Magnolia Avenue, right across the highway from the DMV. And then today we have uh, Staying Domination. That's right. That's um, right. Loyal customers of ours. Been blessed to work on a few projects of theirs and... Uh, another headache. Another headache. The one of many headaches, but so just go ahead. Here we have a head that was brought in. Second set. And pressure mm -hmm. tested them. Pressure tested good, but they did have a heat tab that was mounted in the center of it, as you can see, uh, compared to how they're supposed to look when they are installed onto a head. You know, not melted. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, but that just indicates that the engine was overheated. You know, and I was explaining that the heads were hot, which, like I said, it's not a big deal, but. Just, just just, a little bit of knowledge, that's all it is. So you can see how this one's all melted in the middle. This one's still intact. So what what, what, do, what temperature do these typically melt at? Typically anywhere from 230 and more is when they start to melt. You know, most engines like uh, GM run at 210 and no more. And if they do, it's obviously an indication of overheating. But those reach a temperature, like I said, when they start melting in the center compared to this one that's solid above 230, 240. Yeah, so where, where did you find this one at? This one was located here, stuck on this grease plug right here. So at some point, this had work done, because Ford doesn't do that, right? It or, had work done, because you can see that this cylinder head, the set of heads, were actually done before. All right. This is in a factory surface. And um, as far as what worked exactly was done for it, I don't know, or I can't specify, but for sure they were surfaced. But the heads are good. They're not warped as far as uh, where the cams sit on the cam journals. Everything seems to be fine, so um, we're pretty positive that doing the surface on the surface here would be fine. Okay, cool. More and, knowledge and, than and, I didn't know, <laughs> and you guys can know too. <laughs> and, and that means Trav don't have to go buy another set of heads all the way up in Oceanside or Vista. I don't know where you went. I went to Oceanside. Um, yeah, hey, so we can show you guys some of Nick's work, you know what I'm saying? This is the head before, you know, he took the valve and stuff out before he resurfaced it. Super clean. It's super clean, but y'all y'all ain't seen clean yet. Check this out. This Nick one right here. <laughs> Wait, this isn't even fully done either. No, right? That ain't fully done either. We're not doing a complete valve job on this one. Okay. Yeah, just valve valves shows. are leaking, so it's not that big of a deal. We're just uh got the valves out because we're doing new seals, so to allow the heads to properly clean once we final wash them or clean them, we decided to take the valves out that way. When we put the new valve stem seals on, both sides are clean. Yeah, I mean, you you guys have seen what my heads look like from my Cobra, and they, they did that, so it looks brand new. So is this traps? It's about imagination. All right, fine. Touch the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. No, oh, it's something else. <laughs> I don't know. They got way too many heads over here. Look how clean these are. That's some good work. Super clean. I don't even know what that's for, but some type of inline six. It is right there. What is that? Is that, is that a so the one that's already a Volvo and the one on the right is a BMW. That's a lot hey. of cylinder. That's a lot of cylinders. Oh, it's a, it's a straight six. Yeah, inline. Yeah. Hey, that, we don't we don't really mess with this stuff. You know what I'm saying? We stick to the V8s, <laughs> <laughs> Fords in particular. That's it. Yo, my boys right here at Master Cylinder Head Service. They're super busy. Look at that. All kinds of heads they got to get down. All kinds of blocks. That's actually Travis's block right there. I don't know if y'all can hear me, but that's Travis's block right there. We're gonna see. We're gonna see when this is done. We're gonna show y'all. All right, y'all. We out of here. Had to grab our uh, engine stand heads. You know we gotta rebuild these motors. Yes, sir. But uh, give you guys a second look. If you didn't pay attention, here it goes. Cylinder head master service. They go to number. It's here in San Diego. They're they're out, they're out here in El Cajon. They don't really. Oh, now they got a sign up there. Is that their sign? I think so. They didn't advertise at first, but now they advertise. I don't know, but they're not really, they, they don't really advertise yeah, too much. They just got this right here. Hey, but they just like us. We don't advertise our Stang Domination YouTube. We just getting people, you know, a little word of mouth here and there. But, and of course you guys. Yeah, we advertise and you guys spread the word like you guys should be with the Stang family. And if you're not already, go ahead and share this, like this video, comment. You know, 
just the typical YouTube stuff. Just to get us bigger. <laughs> That's all you got to do. Give us a thumbs up. It takes one second. It do. But uh, if you guys do come down here, tell them Stang D sent you. <laughs> Welcome back, people. Uh, it's a new week, new video, and uh, some new problems. We got some uh, good news for you guys. Great news. You that guys you guys have been asking for. A whole lot of it. It's not a whole, it's not even that that huge, but it's, it's, it's something. It's You know, a lot of you guys can afford shirts, <laughs> but we not doing that right now. So, well, trash motor, we took the block in. We ended up finding out it was trash. Uh, it warped too bad to where he's not gonna be able to hone it, so that's junk. We got another one on the side uh, from a Mark 8. I forgot, 90 to 98 or something like that for the Mark 8s are the same exact as the 96, 98 Cobras. So with that being said, we might have another block for extra one, and then that one's gonna get sent to the machine shop. His crank was good. Don't know if his rods are good or not yet. Um, pretty sure those are junk too. If those are junk, we're just gonna have to tear apart his other motor that he actually has in the car. Ah, uh, there's a whole list, but we're gonna get to that today we're gonna to tear apart that other motor that we have so that way we can send a block out maybe that'll be good and uh we'll have something for trash soon but we are now selling a little bit of merch the great news you know what i'm saying <laughs> what well, i am boy what's up staying domination stickers tell me what's up now okay we only got two of these ones with the horses so maybe that's like a special you know what i'm saying a special one more money that's what it means <laughs> and then we got the regular ones but this looks like a little 10 inch so I think that's what this is. We're eventually gonna sell them with different colors. Uh, we printed out a few that were different colors. We're gonna see how that looks. Um, but for right now, this is all that we got. We're gonna be selling these ones probably for like, I don't know, five bucks. Probably. But then uh, probably these ones, I don't know, it's probably be like 10 bucks or eight bucks. Cause these ones are more expensive to print, uh, especially with the horse on it. Uh, we only got two of those just to see if you guys would be interested in all those. Yeah. So. Just testing the water. Just testing it out. But this is what it looks like. Oh, dang. You can't even see it. Hold on. Oh, this is the one right here. Okay. So the smaller ones, they're not underlined. So it's hashtag staying domination. You guys want to support us. You know what I'm saying? Show some love. Start buying. But how are we going to send it? You guys give us ideas. You want to PayPal, Venmo, Zelle? Uh, Venmo? Venmo. Venmo. Oh, yeah, I ain't familiar with none of that, but let us know what you, how you guys want to send it. You know, send the address wherever you guys want us to ship it. Yeah, so when you when you do buy it, because we don't have a website up, uh, just go ahead and send it through PayPal with your address, your name, so that way we can send it to you guys. And then, boom, it'll be out. PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. No, we don't do Cash App. So, yeah, these are good to go. If you guys want, go ahead and purchase them. I don't know, we got a whole bundle of them, of like 100 of them. I think we got two. Yeah, we got like 200. 200 of them. So, to all the Stang D family, time to support. Yeah, I think these are, these are gonna just be five bucks, the smaller ones. This one's gonna be seven bucks, the bigger one. And then this one, with the horses, might just be like 10 bucks. Let me go ahead and show you how it's gonna look. How big it is on the car. Here's the, for the new edges, this is what it look like right here. Just put it right there. You know, support on the car, you guys can put it everywhere. You put it on the back window, you can put it on your you side here, window. You can, you can put, put it, it wherever on a, you want. On the side panel, the bumper, the side yeah. scoop, door yeah, handle yeah. if you want. If you, you want to see it. You can even put it in your spokes. You get five of these. Show can star, man. staying domination Everywhere. with some black on white wheels. Oh my god, to be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, we can show the notch. The notch for us. Yeah. Right here. Top right, homie. Right here. Put the horse on there. Right in the middle. Could be a mini version of my notch. There it is. <laughs> or right there. Oh no, you can't hide the brake light. Right above the flag. Yeah. I think it's a nine inch. Nine or ten inch. Right there. I gotta size. put those on mine. Hashtag staying domination. Yeah, go ahead and check us out. You know, yeah. Spread the word. Tell your mom, dad, brother, sister, family, auntie, aunt, uncle. You already said that. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta say auntie or aunt. All right. Well, let's get this motor and let's get to start it because it is a short day for us. Let's roll. So, you gotta move all this junk just to get to that block. Some of this stuff we haven't seen Man, in I years. I forgot the steering wheel was right here. Anybody want a cream steering wheel? Cobra? Cobra bag on there. No leather. Or not right the leather. leather. Got all the keys to it though. But if you want it, let us know. Double bag. This got saved, boy. It's the 302. Is it? You mean the 351? Yeah. That's the 351, hey. guys. So you got blocks on blocks. Don't even know where, what's that? This is a shame. It's got a problem. <laughs> That's a can right there. Now we gotta go find this uh, this other block. I think it's in there. Where? In Way the back there okay. in that bag. You know what? I think we might have put it on that little crate back there under his little tarp. On the block. Don't mind what it looks like now. Just use your imagination. Imagination. I think of what it's gonna look like. Ooh, a little bit. This is about to make my clothes hecka dirty. Such a sad day. Look at this thing. This thing's beautiful, no engine. I'm gonna put that in as soon as I get my balance ring. But it's coming, don't you worry, that's ordered. 
Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. This piece almost came on straight to my head. Do not drop that on the blue. That'll be your life. It's your ass, Mr. Postman. Hey, you sent to the paint shop anyway. Hell no. Nah. Hold on, book. Hold on. <laughs> Grab that hose, Trav. Grab that hose. The tires are already on the bumper. <laughs> Rubber's good. Metal is not good on it at all. all right. Oh, please watch out for the car. Please watch out for the blue. Oh, hold it, bug. This is this is dangerous. Something's gonna fall on it. I'm holding it by the oil filter too. You better make sure it don't slip. You right? I'm good. What's up, bro? I ain't left something that heavy in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> he breathing hard. Look at Trav Bun. Look at Trav. <laughs> you got the Hershey Kiss point, <laughs> Oh, man. Well, it is here. Now it's time to yank this bad boy out. Hopefully, I think these are the same pistons, Trav. You'd probably be able to get away and use this. The only thing you're not going to use is this rock or the uh, crank. Everything else should be good. Oh, yeah. You see how it looking good up in there? Not that badly burnt. That's a good sign. That's a real good sign. Might be a little difficult to turn over though, but let's try it. So since we have everything crowded and we're doing like 10 different things at once, well, not 10 different things, but three different motors. Uh, they seem to think that this engine is gonna be held up by this. <laughs> let's see how far they get down with it. Oh boy. Right to it. <laughs> Damn, look at that my sinking in there. That's why these tables are fifty dollars, because they can hold the motor. <laughs> look, oh Trav, there's two rods gone. See the timing cover too? That's cracked in half. Oh yeah, we did that. Oh yeah, we did that. That's straight. We could take off the pulley, the bolt's gone, take off the balancer, but there's two two of them missing. Are you off to a bad start? It is. But and maybe we might have did that. No. No, we had to do it because we we're the only ones that opened up the motor. The junkyard. Right, let's yank this out. We got everything that we need from yours. So let's see what these caps are like. I think you can still use these caps. No, these pistons don't look that bad. Mark eight, you know, you know, people don't be racing those. So anybody want a time and cover, hit us up, give it to you half off. <laughs> Dang, did I even record this? I don't even know, but look how clean it is. Look at that. Nobody racing these. Not bad at all. Like new. Oh, take that off. Got more dirtier. Real good. We're getting real good. Well, we're not gonna be using the crank, so we ain't even tripping about that, but we just wanna see what's going on with this motor. We did get it from the junkyard. I think it was like a hundred and like, I think like 120 bucks. How much was it? I don't remember. I think it was like a hundred, it was in a hundred dollars range or something like that. But it was in the junkyard, halfway already taken out, but somebody called the fish. So what we did, we, we went in there and we took it. But, Hopefully this is good so uh, Trav's black one can get on the road and we can get that thing out of here. And see, this one has both sides. Yours is in it. Just flip it over. See? It's supposed to be two-sided. Yours didn't have that at all. Unless, probably like paint shaft. Maybe he's different. I don't know. Time to take these rods out. That's the only reason why we're trying to figure this crap out. So, uh, yeah. Something so simple to turn into a headache. Because of the rust. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's in the recycling bin, but he said the reason why it's trash is because the actual aluminum started melting. Like, you could feel it with your nail if you feel it. But in these two cylinder walls, the aluminum actually started melting down. And then he said that the, the, the sleeve started going away from it or whatever, so. Oh, damn, we can't feel it. That's why he said that this is trash. So, you dropped the new one off. Well, thanks to Isaac, AKA cameraman right now. We're looking out for it. All right, so that's the reason why we're going different block, because that block is trash. And then right there under that bag, the trash bag, we got the 
new to me block. Not new, but new to me. It won't be new after a thousand bucks. But uh, he'll let me know tomorrow. He'll check the motor today or, or, or tomorrow morning. Don't mind Trav's little earpiece. He think he think he cool now. He all grown and stuff. Business. He gonna jump into the Corvettes after tonight. Heck nah, you know, when I'm doing the drywall or flooring or, or anything, painting, that way I can still do it instead of having my phone like this. Yeah, I'll talk to you later, man. I gotta, I gotta do this. I can just go on my day. Simple as that. That's a little too extra for me, but. It's the old man here piece. It's a lot of the old, older guys have. Anyways, we dropped this stuff off with the pistons and the rods. Yeah, both sets of rods and pistons <laughs> from the, the old trash motor. And we gonna see if it even worked. Hopefully man. you can balance everything out, you know, and make one working rotating assembly with that. So if not, you know, typical it's gonna be more money i want to buy more rods or pistons anymore. hey that's probably gonna be the case with your look that you've been having bro it's probably like a thousand dollars just down the trash just for checking everything you gotta check the heads that costs money and then with the other sets of heads i bought those had uh uh he said like a little a small leak called a seepage or something like that he said that they uh the, the valve the valve seals so it's like those cost me more money I gotta pay to test them and then I gotta pay to fix them. So it's like money. moral of the story is don't get a Mustang. So no, don't get a Cobra Mustang. <laughs> Get don't get a four list. valve four valves hey we about to go home and build a four valve right now <laughs> <laughs> all right well we'll be back we'll be back at the alley we're we gonna be we're gonna be at your house today yeah well then all right we'll just be at the alley today we're building a we'll see you right got a special delivery what we got isaac go ahead and zoom in on those Ooh, we finally after two years, bro. Nah, it, it's it's actually it's actually been a couple months, but it was just clean. It, it's been mainly my fault. I told him not to rush it because I ran into some money problems. But we ain't gonna get into that. But here they are. All the O3 Cobra that you guys been asking for nonstop, or some of you. This is it right here. Now we just gotta buy like two thousand dollars more worth in parts. <laughs> And we're there. <laughs> <laughs> it don't stop. Help me, help me unload this, homie. All right, homie, I got you. Day uh, 295 of waiting on parts. Don't mind our uh, dial pin installer tool. Just give it a little love tap. One right here, one right there. So now I'm gonna do the uh, gasketless swap. So we don't go no gaskets on the head to the block. <laughs> <laughs> no air gas leak ever. <laughs> All right, well, it's my time to dip out of here. Trav's gonna take over. I'm gonna be doing these brakes on this truck, so uh, I won't be squealing no more. We got the head installed. Yeah, let's go. Obviously, you saw the dowel pins going already, but you know, that's the easy part. Now, we gotta get these in, but first, we gotta clean up these uh, cylinders because this thing's been sitting for about a month. So, we're gonna make sure we get some brake clean on there and wipe everything down, clean up the uh, surfaces on here let's get this thing popping oh you dropping the stickers bro oh, it's the whole reason part. it's the whole reason why we buy these things man yeah we get this and we just throw the, the other stuff away save that i think you're supposed to <clears throat> you put these on the uh, on the threads to put them inside the block yeah. then you twist them on you go all the way in at least for the foxes you go all the way in and then pull back but I think maybe we should read the instructions on instead of guessing. Yeah, guessing game's always better. I think like that's what it's for. So, you know, inspect all hardware prior to installation. Look for obvious defects and shipping damages. Did you check that one for defects or shipping damages? Look pretty good. Yeah. And then the threads all messed up. There you go. All right, part one checked out. Yeah, we're going we gonna to go through this and then uh, we'll get back to you once we figure this thing out. It's right here. I forgot how much it cost because we bought it a while ago. You're going to need this next. What we did. Hold on, you got to flip it upside down, man. It's upside down, the lettering. See, the box, the handle was up here. I had it right. Come on, man. She's like that. What is that again? The timing chain. Ah! The cam, the cam kit. Yeah. But what we just did is we did the, the studs. You don't torque them down. What you do is you get a little ratchet on them. Go all the way to where they bottom out. Take them off a little bit and then just, you know. Snug it Snug up. Snug it up, that's all. You do that, throw the head gasket on, and get ready for the heads to install. Gotta get the timing chains and all that out. Get ready to go. Well, first we gotta do the heads. We gotta put the cams on the... We'll leave that to Isaac. I don't really do that much work. <laughs> <laughs> it's nighttime now. Check out that lighting. 
that shows we real professionals around here. Okay. Real, Mc, real MacGyvers. Improvising at its finest. So we got our heads right here. We have to do a little searching for the- uh, Soul searching. For the bolts. But we got the lifters, bolts. Oh, I'm sorry, not the lifters. What are they called? Lash adjusters and cam followers. They're not lifters or push or, 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 or rocker arms. So same you, same difference, but they just these sit on the the the, the followers. So, or the, so, last so the lifters and rock arms are for old old terminologies or what? Yeah, these are last Raw adjusters. Newer and better things. Exactly, four valve game. Don't don't do that. Cause that's an expensive habit. Yeah, don't do that. But yeah. These lifters in, 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 the, in the 302s, what we're used to, lash adjusters with the 4.6s. These for the Foxes, rocker arms. Uh, these are, I think, camp followers. Yeah. Whatever the case may be. Same thing, though. Right there, look at that. Boom. It's a little oil passageway, right? Mm -hmm. So we can get all the uh, oil, as we like to call it, the oil, oil, oil into uh, the uh, lifters and spread it around here. Get everything nice and oil-like. Time to scuff up and mess up this aluminum. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, man? I'm just gonna get a little brush. So this hey, man, you got a brush coming out of it. Woo! Well, you're gonna have to do a roll change now. <laughs> I think that's the plan, buddy. Every time. Is that how the professionals do it, Trey? Well, you seen it here first. They like, that's Trey's paper say. That's Trav's fifth motor that he's done. I wonder why he's done so many of them. Look at the technique. I won't find it anywhere else either. Look at that. Precision. One second. Pinch. Let it drop. One second. Pinch. Let it drop. Man, you're a professional. Now, I got some experience with these cars, but not that much experience. See that right there? Because I was afraid because it's been so long that this car has been sitting. I wasn't sure where things went back. Like three years. <laughs> on its way to four Six years. months. <laughs> Actually, it's been like two since years. November. So, no, I'm saying since we tore down the block. November of last year. Anyway, you see that right there? That little oval teardrop thing here, Majin. I wasn't sure how I was going to go. And then look, he said, look that. Should be matching over there. And sure enough, I missed it. But boom, right there. Now to take it all off to put these rockers on. And last the gestures and camp followers. Yeah, we won't be able to, we spent a lot of time looking for bolts and matching bolts. It's ma mainly, mainly my fault. But and we forgot the book. Cause you know, we don't like to do our motors without the torque. He papers. forgot the book for the 0304 Cobras. It's all Can good. Go. It's not today, it's always a tomorrow. Yeah, there's always a tomorrow, even though upload day is in two days, but hey. Got a lot of editing to do, that's all. <laughs> so we just gotta gotta put these cams on real quick. We're gonna line everything up. We're not gonna torque anything down until we get tell the you bolts. guys. Mental note, I always sweat this with you guys, you know. All the other bolts, same size. Shorter bolts go on the exhaust side, so. Or the gold bolts on the exhaust side. Yeah, shorter. So so you go like that, you have to, you go like this. You're like, what the heck? Man, I barely got any threads. So gold side or shorter bolts, exhaust side. On both sides of it. Oh, y'all heard that? We got these little mosquitoes, me these leg savers. Yeah, these mosquitoes. Trav's been getting killed all night. I'm about to go home pitching like a crackhead. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> but we are gonna show y'all a little quick video right here. We're gonna put, uh, getting these put together and then we are gonna call it a night. And then bring the book. And bring the book so we can install these damn heads on. You guys can actually see some progress. Let's go. Oh, rockers all rock, rockers all loose now. Come oh, on, only noobs be doing that. Look at that. That's that's beautiful. Boom. Well, that's about it. Ran out of time, I think. We ran right. out of time. Plus, we didn't have the book. Yeah. So, uh, we'll get that build on a uh, on the next video. So, y'all stay tuned for that video when we post it. Okay. Not the brand. Not the not the Walmart TV brand. Oh, not Vizio. The Vizio. You know what I'm saying? It's Bro, you got, you, you got steam coming out your forehead right now. Oh, you? Yeah. yeah. I'm on fire, that's why. I just can't be touched. But uh, we'll catch y'all next week. Stay tuned. The loyal followers slash Stang D family right. we have. We're, we're sorry about last, what, last, last week. It, it's, it's a lot been going on, man. But everybody's been getting slammed at work. So it's, it's a lot hard. You know, you got to keep the bills coming in. That's Anyways, it. Anywho. We'll catch y'all next week. Oh, surprise guest from this guy doing work as you can see look at the look at the gloves they ain't been wearing gloves this whole time either real mechanics don't wear gloves that's why they are working but with real mechanics have dirty hands you know what i'm saying we're, we're, clean. we're, we're working with the uh, clean clean, with clean parts you're not those are greasy and oily it's nasty i'm yeah. over here i'm over here putting it work slaving by myself look at my partner
Yeah, let's go. <laughs> she got the gloves. <laughs> she got the gloves on. You know what it is? <laughs> hey, how's that little kid smarter than you, Torn Look? Hey, she real good at holding a flashlight. <laughs> The best. That's where it starts, though. <laughs> Flashlight holder. As you were saying. We'll see y'all next week. So you know, part's coming up next. Stang D. We out. We out.